Hello and welcome to our coverage of the German Bundesliga. A huge contest today. Two of Germany's finest, two of Europe's finest. It's Bayern Munich versus Borussia Dortmund. Unbeaten in the league, early in the season, mind you. Let's get straight to the futuristic Allianz Arena. Not necessarily looking its best today because it's a wet, miserable, rainy day in Munich. And your commentary team of Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hello once again, I'm Martin Tyler, and this is the Allianz Stadium in Munich. Well, we've got Dortmund here against Bayern Munich, of course, memories of Wembley. Very, very close. Uh, Bayern finally got their hands on the trophy ahead of Dortmund. But it was a great advert for European football, German football in particular. Yeah, fantastic occasion that. But Bayern obviously can spend more, can pay more to their players. So it's always difficult to keep tabs with the German giants. Bayern Munich's lineup: Manuel Neuer starts in goal. Jerome Boateng starts with Mehdi Benassia in central defence. Xavi Alonso plays with Mario Goetze in midfield. Thomas Müller starts together with Robert Lewandowski. This is the Borussia Dortmund lineup. Roman Weidenfeller starts in goal. Socrates Papastotopoulos starts alongside Nevin Subotic in the heart of defence. Sven Bender plays alongside Sebastian Kehl in the middle of the park. Chiro Immobile is the lone striker today. Well, one of the great characters of management anywhere in the world, I think, is Jurgen Klopp. Um, we delight in uh, meeting him, listening to him and watching his team play. Oh, he's a, he's a right old character, isn't he? I'd love to see him in the Premier League at some stage, and I think he probably will. But uh, for the moment, he's happy at Dortmund, where the fans absolutely adore him. And uh, he's, he's had some fantastic players to manage over the last few years. As for Bayern Munich, your thoughts, Alan? From the manager's point of view, Martin, it's not been acceptable. The way that they've been playing so far, we all thought that they'd be at the top of the table challenging, and uh, it's been a disappointment so far. Mario Goetze. Müller. Well, it could be in. He's in the clear. Here's the chance. And he's missed it. with luck. Javi Alonso, Roman Weidenfeller with a great stop. Giro Immobile. Bender. Robert Lewandowski. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. How to improve on perfection. That was the problem for Bayern Munich in 2013-14. When you've won the lot the year before, it's difficult, isn't it, Alan? It is difficult, as Pep Guardiola found out. And uh, he obviously changed their style of football slightly, and it looked at one stage. In with a chance. Well, that was the shot, and not a bad effort. No, not bad, but uh, under the circumstances for a player at this level, you would hope that he, he can work the keeper there. Interesting to see what footwear the teams are going to actually use today, now that this uh, rain is coming down. Might have to change what they originally started with. Yeah, and I think sometimes with the lads wearing blades these days, you do see them slipping a bit more, and uh, it might mean they have to change halfway through this match. What about uh, Bayern Munich? We're going to talk about them and the fact that they... Well, how could they have measured up to your Heinkes' last season with Pep Guardiola, even Pep Guardiola taking over? Well, yeah, the perfectionist that is Guardiola. He's put 100% effort into it and it didn't quite happen for them. Uh, Real Madrid knocked them off their perch, as it were, in that semi-final, so they'll need to come again. It's a quick break. Müller! Such quality in the build-up and a brilliant finish, a wonderful goal.
that was a gilt edge chance and he's just strolled across the line with the ball nice and easy oh, no wonder he's smiling it was uh, one of the easiest goals he'll ever score in the end Munich in the lead. Now Kagawa. Jerome Botek. Javi Alonso. Good, strong challenge. Free kick by Munich. Well, that's uh, another. There's another angle coming up here, Alan. Javi Alonso. It's Kagawa. Kevin Grosskreutz. He's got space. Well, there, a goal up. Now they've got a corner here. Look here again at that incident that led to the card. Can't really have a go at the ref for getting his yellow card out there. The referee, that's uh, booking because he saw that offence, even though he didn't want to stop playing. And I think we're all agreed, Alan, aren't we, that that's the way to do it? Yeah. Yeah, he's one of my favourite refs, I think he's one of the more experienced ones, and uh, he really gives the game a chance. And he's got his hands to the header! Well, it was a really good header, but uh, the keeper's equal to it. With this goal advantage, they've now got a corner. Post. Well, he sees that as a really bad miss, and I'd have to agree with him. Now, Javi Alonso. It was Javi Alonso's penalty. That put Spain in front against the Dutch. It all seemed to be going very well then. But, of course, the wheels soon came off and the crown soon came off Spain in the World Cup of 2014. Bender. Comes in with a tackle. Mario Goetze. Immobile. Robert Lewandowski. It's back, it's their ball again. So a good intercepting play. Bender. Good forward play from them. He can cross it now. Winger tried to do something a bit too clever, I think, and the interception was made. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. For Bayern, they'll be waiting for the break, maybe to possibly make a change or two. Certainly to... They've still got an opportunity here after the goalkeeper parried it. Mario Goetze. Wonderful interception. Peace check. 
And in he goes with the tackle. Thomas Muller. Kevin Grosskreutz. Thomas Muller. It's another five minutes to be played here. Five minutes of added time. He might be through. Got to be. He lost the fourth and he was going to get the glory at the end of a terrific run. Yeah, I think after that, his teammates were looking on, just expecting him to put it away. And the opponents come in strongly. Peace check. That's half time at one nil. Well, here we are at half-time, and the main topic of conversation is a sad one, really, the injury. Yeah, it is sad, and uh, I have to feel, Martin, that the conditions played a part. Um, if it wasn't so wet on the surface, maybe he wouldn't have gone to ground, and his momentum took him through, that was the thing, and he's hurt himself as a result. So we reach half-time, 1-0 the score, with Bayern Munich leading. Let's take a look back at the highlights from that first half, and then we'll be straight back to your commentary team for the rest of the match. Bayern Munich were leading at the break. We'll see how they do now in the second half. They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. Will be a free kick. Look at it again, Alan, the effort on goal from Lewandowski. Yeah, and he's just decided, I'm going to hit this as hard as I can. Close in, and it's just shot past the post. Giro Immobile. And intervening in this situation, the referee's got to step in, Ansgar von Hauenstein. Now Rafinha. Pizarro. Bayern Munich given the throw. Well, no delay here. Mario Goetze. Mario Goetze had played himself out of the team. I think he's got himself back into it again now after what he did in the final as a substitute to win the World Cup for Germany. Goodness, they needed him then to clear that. Ball with luck. And now they've got a corner on the attack again, the team that's leading by one goal. the header to clear the ball away Kevin Grosskreutz Giro Immobile
Now Kagawa. Marcel Schmelzer. They've linked up well. And he goes for goal. Dives away. That's a very good goal. It's offside. That's what the assistant has said. Well, when he looks back on that, I think he might be a bit disappointed because the striker seemed to time his run really well. This is another angle on it, Alan. Well, it looked like the timing of the, the pass and the run was spot on, but the defence squeezed, and I think they just caught him off. Peace check. Well, that'll be the keeper's ball. Thomas Muller. Pizarro. It's Kagawa. Here's Kagawa. Well, he's beaten his man. Here's the chance. Well, he has a go. And there it is, the equaliser. The goal then for Borussia Dortmund. Well, the defenders just stood rooted to the spot on the edge of the box, and what a poor one to concede. We're all level again. 1-1 the score. Now Kagawa. Shinji Kagawa comes in strongly. Dortmund ready now to make an alteration to their team from the bench. Kevin... Roskreutz. Bender. Müller. Thomas Müller. However long Germany played, he was still running at the end. Just a terrific athlete as well as a footballer. Marcel Schmelzer. Right in quickly to try and win the ball back. Giro Immobile. Good link up. In with a chance. A really good effort. The team really battling to take the lead. At the moment, it's still all square. We're coming to the closing stages now, and a game that's still keeping us on the edge of our seats. I think the manager's brought him off to allow him to get individual ovation for the moment that he provided with this goal. We can see it again. Well, he's known for this kind of goal. He never panics from these kind of distances. That's a wonderful strike. It's Kagawa. Shinji Kagawa. Defender blocks the cross. This could be a key corner. We're right in the dying minutes. Knocked it away. Great piece of defending. I've seen this so often with these two teams. A late goal can decide it. It would decide it if we get one now. Possession in the midfield area. Pizarro. Thomas Müller. Now Kagawa. Kagawa. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. 
Shinji Kagawa. Return pass. Keeps it going. That's oh, a foul. It's going to be a free kick here. as well it, it was a horrendous miss Sebastian Kane we're into the last few minutes here if they score now they'll surely win the match tries his luck good save at a very good time yeah it was and should give the team confidence to go on and perhaps snatch this match he's had to go full stretch <laughs> referee blows to end the 90 minutes Bayern Munich.